Hello, welcome back to Down Under and South of the Border, a show about travel, English teaching, love, LGBTQI plus issues, and following me as I prepare to leave Australia and teach English in Mexico, Colombia, or Argentina, setting up a new life for myself and having fun. So in this episode, we're going to cover just a little bit of a background on me before I left on my initial travels in 2016. Um, it's not a complete history, um, it's just a background of who I was before I left. I'll continue through these episodes, um, through my travels, uh, falling in love, uh, getting home, the breakup, putting myself back together again, all the way leading up to where we are today and where I'm going from here. The whole idea with these episodes is that you get an idea of the motivation about why I'm doing this whole vlog in the first place, this whole YouTube channel, um, and why I want to leave Australia, why I want to teach English, and continue adventuring indefinitely. You can't... You can't unexperience something, good or bad. Um... And I don't know, I don't know what leaves more of a mark on you. Uh, the trauma of some terrible situation, some terrible pain, some horrible accident that you might have went through, or some kind of wonderful experience that you had, that kind of joy, going through love, going through an amazing experience and kind of having to go back to regular life or having that kind of, that when that love goes away and having to kind of put back the pieces again. Um, you learn from both of those experiences, I think. Uh, but I'm not sure which one is kind of the more insidious pain. It's it's a little difficult to um, to describe the kind of person I was before I left on my travels. Uh, everything's changed. Um, my whole way of looking at the world has changed. Um, my whole perspective, uh, my mind has changed. Um, my emotions, my uh, my life goals, everything has changed. So um, I'll do my best. Um, you know, I guess, ah, uh, I was, I am Australian, early thirties, bisexual, um, I guess I've been, since I finished uni, I've been kind of floating around the media, education, arts industries for the last few years, uh, jack of all trades, master of none, um, I originally wanted to win an Oscar by the age of 30 for acting or directing, something like that. Um, then it was, I wanted a PhD by the age of 35. Um, before I left, I kind of was happy to find a sugar daddy that would leave me to my own devices um, uh, and find him before I became an aged beauty queen. Um, that was pretty much it, and yeah, I had no desire to own a car or a house, uh, no desire to have, to get married, um, to have kids, nothing like that, um, I would like to be. I have would have liked to have been a porn star, you know, kind of live on in perpetuity as a someone of someone to be desired forever on X tube or something like that. I don't know. That was that was kind of my goal. I even applied for uh, at porn studios before I left. No one got back to me. Bastards. Look at all this. What a waste.
Overeducated, underpaid, oversexed, often manic, paranoid, narcissistic, over rapid cycling between over emotional and cold bastardry. Uh, but these same characteristics in their low doses makes me for the eccentric, lovable, friendly, nice uh, character that I am that seems to get by pretty well. As we go on with the series and I tell you a bit more about uh, what happened with um, my most recent relationship and things like that and what's happened since then, um, something you should know about my past history. Um, I spent several years in a very abusive relationship. We're going to call him Valdemar. Um, it was abusive physically, verbally, mentally, spiritually, whatever you'd like to call it. Um, I won't go into the details of what the fucker did to me, but it left me broken for a very long time. Um, I was diagnosed with depression, anxiety disorder, bipolar type 2, PTSD, um, all treated intermittently, intermittently with uh, too much medication, too much alcohol. Uh, com com combined usually, um, uh, which kind of left me numb most of the time, which I was pretty happy with, because it meant I could just cope with that, uh, with a familiar hell, um, which I couldn't find a way out of for a very long time. Uh, and, I mean, I kind of lost all my coping me mechanisms that normal humans normal adults have um, to deal with emotional issues and painful memories, stress, pain, all the normal things that most humans which I had gone through and had developed and I just kind of lost those over those horrible years. But eventually I did get out because if I didn't get out I was going to die one way or another. And, um, yeah, and it was wonderful. Um, I realized how wonderful single life is. Uh, I found a, a newfound confidence. But it's kind of like a nihilistic confidence, like, you know, uh, fuck it, we're all slowly dying anyway. Uh, yes, I'll fuck you. Yes, I'll go dance naked on stage. Yes, I'll do this. Yes, I'll do that. Fuck it, I'll jump off that. Why not? Um, of course, then that's something that has really changed since my um, travels, since Burning Man, since meeting Bernardo. Like, I've got this new confidence where I'm like, life is wonderful, it's a beautiful gift. I'm special, I'm worthy, I want to love you and meet you. Yes, let's go fuck. It's a wonderful world. Um, so, let's dance naked on stage, because it's a wonderful thing to do. So I'm still doing the same thing, and still confident, but um, just with a, a new, uh, new, new lease on life, a new, um, uh, yeah, way of looking at the world. So that's really good. So, what was it that brought me to go adventuring? Why, why Burning Man? Why Mexico? Why Cuba? Um, well, uh, I just started in 2015. I started a role. Uh, a one-year role as a research assistant at Macquarie University and um, so I knew that I it was a you know it was a one-year contract and that I would finish that with considerable money and that frightened me because I didn't want to have get to the end of that and have that nibbled away at with bills and food and little bits and pieces I wanted to spend that money um, so travel was the best option. I, I've always wanted to travel. I haven't done much of it. I've been to Papua New Guinea. That's like the Wild West in the jungle. Pretty cool place, but I would um, not go back. Lovely, but yeah, lovely people, but yeah, crazy, crazy place. Um, New Zealand, which is pretty and it's just like little Australia town. Um, Hi, New Zealanders. Uh, please keep watching. <laughs> um, but yeah, I um, yeah, 
Burning Man. I'd always wanted to go. I didn't even know that much about it, but you know, I talked to friends and I'd seen YouTube clips, and there's just something, something in their eyes and the way that they spoke about it, and like they fucking know, man. There's something there. They know, and I wanted to know too. I wanted to know what that was. That something, that little something that clicks. They've seen something, they know something, and I wanted to know what that was. As for Mexico, um, I suppose that was, I, it's a place I'd always wanted to go, ever since I can remember. Um, I suppose cartoons, seeing mysterious cities of gold, uh, you might not, most people probably wouldn't even remember it or have seen it, um, but it was a cool, uh, anime, uh, French, Japanese collaboration, uh, that went to Mexico and places in South America during the kind of conquistador days and they found aliens and lost cities of gold and, and bits and pieces and it was just really cool. I don't even remember that much of the show, I just loved it. But, um, you know, Zorro, uh, Antonio Banderas. One of my first crushes. Oh, God. <sighs> anyway, um, so yeah, it's always been a place that has fascinated me. The food as well. And you can't really get good Mexican food here, but whatever. The even the bad Mexican food that you can get in Australia was still good enough for me. Um, so yeah, and I mean, Mexican men, Latinos in general, are just they're right up my alley. My alley. I didn't really know what to expect, seriously, out of Mexico or Cuba. Um, I was to spend a week in Mexico City before spending two weeks on a group tour by that state. I mean, I like traveling alone, uh, it's my whole thing. I like doing my own, my own bit. And, um, but yeah, by that stage, I would have been traveling for about almost a month, and I think I kind of would want someone to you know, hold my hand for a little bit take me around and um, so we do that for two weeks then spend two weeks working at the hostel in the island of Cozumel um, before spending a few nights in Cancun then to Cuba for a week and a half back to Cancun for another week and then um, up to Nolans for Halloween and LA for a few nights and then back back to Sydney um, Cuba I just like I'm attracted to socialism and communism in the, you know, ideal form, I guess. But more so, just communist chic, the, the whole style. I like, I like, I like the fashion. Um, more so these days. Uh, that's probably what attracted me to Cuba mostly. And again, the men. It seemed, for the longest time, uh, to be so far away this holiday. And then, all of a sudden, it was next week! It was painfully imminent! Um, and I had to pack, and I packed nothing. And, um, yeah, and then it was stressful, and everything. Uh, and then, all of a sudden, my parents were there to pick me up, and I unpacked, and yeah. But, you know, I knew. I knew that it was going to be an amazing experience with Burning Man, and Mexico, and like, I had really no idea what to expect. I knew, you know, it'd be life-changing and blah blah blah, but I had no idea exactly how life-changing it would be and the kind of craziness that, you know, just, just, that, would, that I'd experience, the beautiful, wonderful people I'd meet, lifelong friends, um, uh, finding true love for the first time, uh, finding myself for the first time, uh, breaking down these walls that I thought were me. <sighs> yeah, just, ah. Uh, you know, I'll take you along the journey that, um, yeah, you'll see. Yes, come with me and I will show you the world. When I set foot on that plane on the 26th of August 2016, nothing would be the same again. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I hope you liked the video. Uh, please let me know. Let me know 
what you like, what you don't like, in the comments below. Uh, please subscribe. Please subscribe. Uh, let me know what I can do better. Let me, let me know what you like. Um, please like me on Facebook. Uh, that's where all this stuff is getting wrangled. Uh, Twitter, that's, you know, Jacob Harrison 0 that's where you can follow me. Instagram, Copjack, that's me. Uh, yeah, Facebook, obviously it's down under and south of the border. Pretty easy to find. And, yeah, all the links are supplied below. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching again. And, have a great day, have a great night, have a great life. Love you. Bye. Mwah.